Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, we will see how to do estimation of serum albumin by BCG method. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So the major constituent of blood or plasma proteins include albumin, globulin and the fibrinogen. Among which albumin accounts for 50 to 60 percentage of the plasma proteins with concentration of 3.5 to 5 gram per deciliter. That is the normal range of albumin present in the plasma protein. Albumin has a molecular weight of 69 kilodalton and uh, it is a polypeptide chain having 585 amino acids. Albumin is synthesized in the liver and hence the estimation of albumin is a marker for liver function. So uh, the levels of albumin can be check as a marker for the analysis of liver function or the uh, checking the functionality of liver. Let's see what are the functions of albumin. Albumin helps in maintaining the colloidal oncotic pressure and the purpose of albumin is to hold the fluid in the blood. Hence uh, when there is a liver damage fluid uh, fluid goes into the tissues or ascites causing edema or the swelling in the angles or the lower part of the body. Uh, it also has a neutral, uh, nutritional function and it provides and nourishes the tissues. Albumin helps in uh, the transport of hormones, electrolytes, uh, vitamins, free fatty acids, drugs and steroids. And it maintains the acid base balance in the body. Uh, the variation in albumin levels indicate liver disease, malnutrition, skin lesions such as uh, dermatitis and burns or dehydration. So these are the uh, things which appear when there is a variation in the albumin levels. Let's see the principle of estimation of serum albumin by BCG method or the bromocresol green method. So this method is based on the specific binding of the uh, bromocresol green. It's an anionic dye uh, with the protein at a pH of uh, 4.1 and that produce a change in the color of the indicator. So that change is from yellow to green or greenish blue. So the uh, green, green or the greenish blue compound is produced when uh, the reagent binds with the, the protein at an acidic pH and this colored compound can be measured calorimetrically at 620 nanometer and the intensity of the color formed is proportional to the concentration of the albumin in the sample. So by reacting uh, these two things the reagent and the protein a colored compound is produced and that colored uh, compound concentration or the intensity of the color is directly proportional to the concentration of albumin in the sample or in the serum. So that is the basic principle of the BCG method. How do we uh, test the sample? So first of all we have to take three uh, different tubes uh, and label it as blank test and the standard and to each tube one ml of reagent can be added. And to the uh, tube labeled with test add 5 microliter of the serum sample and to the tube labeled with standard add 5 microliter of the of the standard solution. And mix and incubate this for 10 minutes at room temperature and the absorbance can be read and uh, correlated with the standard against the blank. So to calculate the concentration of albumin in grams per deciliter we have to take the absorbance of sample to the absorbance of standard multiplied by 5 that is the concentration of the standard and if you want to convert the gram per deciliter to micromole per liter uh, conversion factor is 144.9 if you apply the conversion factor you can get the concentration in micromole per liter. Now coming to the serum albumin globulin ratio so you know that the serum total protein has albumin and globulin. So serum globulin if you want to calculate we have to subtract the serum total protein concentration from the albumin concentration. So if you subtract uh, uh, total protein and the serum albumin uh, you are left out with the serum globulin concentration and the AG or the albumin globulin ratio can be uh, derived by dividing the albumin to the concentration of globulin. As the, we, we know that if you take the reading, you will the expected reading in the normal cases will be 3.5 to 5 gram per deciliter. Uh, that is the uh, normal range for serum albumin and for the albumin to globulin ratio it is 1.2 is to 1 to 2.5 is to 1. And if the albumin concentration is lower than the normal range and this condition is known as hypoalbuminemia. And if the albumin concentration is higher than the normal range and this condition is called as the 
ഹൈപ്പർ ആൽബുമിനീമിയ so hyper albuminemia uh, can be due to various uh, reasons one of the reason is the poor nutritional state or the increased excretion or loss of albumin this can be due to renal kidney function or the kidney dysfunction uh, in this case uh, albumin will be lost in the urine excess albumin is uh, excreted through urine and it is also seen in case of liver disease such as uh, hepatitis or in the cancer of the liver or liver cirrhosis and in certain uh, heart conditions such as congestive heart failure pericarditis etc uh, and also in the inflammatory inflammatory bowel disease or lymphoma all these can cause hyper uh, hypoalbuminemia because excess loss is happening in this case and uh, it also seen it is also seen in the uh, side effects from medication also in case of uh, certain infections such as, such as uh, tuberculosis and hyperalbuminemia can be due to uh, dehydration congestive heart failure or the poor protein utilization hope you are clear with this topic if you like the video uh, please press the like button and share it with your friends thank you